What's up boys, this is Spectre and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to film your original point of view from a demo using HLA. So I had to mention original because it's gonna look like the exact moment when you are playing the match itself and your viewers will not be able to tell the difference. So why is this useful you may ask? Usually I record all my matches so I can post my clips on Instagram. So one night I had like 3 insane moments and after I finished all my matches I realized that OBS wasn't started. So I was a bit frustrated but I remembered this magic command in HLAE which I found out from a good friend of mine. The command name is Mirf underscore Paul. So take a look at this clip. It was filmed from a demo but you can't see any difference, right? Another good thing about this is that you can customize the sky and even film in slow motion to get the highest quality possible. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we've learned this in how to make a montage episode 2 from my YouTube channel. You can find the entire playlist in the description or you can click the top right card right now. Alright, so let's see how you can do this. First thing you will need to download HLA. Link will be in the description but you can go to Google and type HLA in the search bar and click the first link that pops up, which is this one, advancedeffects.org. Now you will see on the screen line, this is the latest version for it, click here. And we will have to download the zip file onto my desktop. Okay, and now we'll have to unzip everything into a folder. Apparently I already have it. because. I have a folder with it on my desktop, so let me see where it is, okay, right, so now uh, we need to open HLE, let me see if I'm on Steam, okay, it's opened, this is the program, go to file, launch CSGO, and if you haven't used it in the past, you will have to configure the path for CSGO. So just pick your own path, this is for me. Uh, click browse and go to csgo.exe. After that, you see the resolution to uh, Full HD or higher if you support, if you have a monitor for it. And click launch. Alright guys, once you're in CSGO, first go offline in your Steam. So you're not, uh, you'll not be disturbed while filming something, I'm already offline. And after that you go to video settings and configure everything like as you want it to be. Well, if you want to go with a high resolution or maybe put everything on high. I'm usually filming everything with high quality but since this is only for demonstration purpose, I'm not going to change the, the settings. Okay, so if you play matchmaking, your uh, matches will be here under your matches uh, section or if you play more face it like me you'll have to download the demo and uh, copy it into your csgo folder after that you can type this command play demo and the demo name mine was mirage this one right here my volume is 0.5 so you guys can hear me better uh, usually I'm filming with volume 1 so in this way I'm consistent with all my uh, with all my volumes throughout the clips anyway so as you guys can see pretty much this is a normal uh, HLTV demo and the way we're filming or I was filming for my montages was to pretty much uh, go where the action happens hide all the interface and uh, film it just like that but right now, I will show you how to film your uh, exact point of view and it will look exactly like when you are playing the match. So first you will have to type this command, which is mirror underscore list entities. Actually first type clear and after that type mirror list entities. And you will see that we now have a lot of random stuff right here, but go to the top of it. The beginning of the command and you will need to find your player id from from this section right here so there are 10 players uh, as you can see i'm number four right here 
And with this information, I'm gonna disconnect. I'm gonna clear my screen again. My console. And I'm gonna type mir underscore poll and number four, which was my ID from the previous demo. Uh, there's a possibility that this number uh, varies from a demo to another. If you're jumping from a demo to another and you're not able to see yourself, just type mirpov0 and check for list entities again. So I'm gonna type four and now I'm gonna play the demo again. Play demo, garage, okay. And you guys already can see now I don't have the demo interface and this actually looks like I'm actually playing the game right now. Let me skip forward a bit, a couple rounds right here. Yeah, now I'm playing the game. Uh, this is a bit glitchy because we can uh, we need to insert a couple commands for player smoothness and if you've watched my movie making tutorials in the past I listed the movie making config with a lot of settings that help regarding this aspect so I'm gonna share this config again in the description so you guys can download it from there but pretty much what you have to do is exec the config and now the movement will be way smoother than it was before. Okay, so let me show you now how to actually film something. As far as I remember, the action happens... I think I had the tick right here for this. Demo, go to tick. To the right, I think it was. Exactly. Right, so... If I resume the action, you will see even I, <laughs> I even have the chat right here on the bottom left corner. And this is the action that happened. It looks exactly like when I played the match. Even the flicks look better because I had a filming with the uh, with this with this scene in particular from the demo. And uh, as you can see on the third kill right here, I'm flicking this guy on the right. And with this mirror pop command, it looks way better, way, way, much, much, much better than, than the demo filming. Okay, gonna go back again. So right, uh, right now you're uh, facing a couple of options. Either you film with the normal speed, just like this, 1x. Or you can even film it in slow motion to get the most quality out of it and you set the speed to 25% and you will see that in the movie making config we have a command to mute players which is voice enable zero actually it's not this it's voice scale zero the thing with this is From the uh, from this point of view command in this demo you will actually be able to hear even the enemy players when they speak so let me see when they speak actually go a bit forward and around where's your neighbor with one yeah nobody's speaking <laughs> this isn't a very good example because nobody's pretty much talking everyone's on discord but anyway in the bottom left corner you will see that everyone's talking and uh, me as a counter terrorist I will be able to hear the terrorist. So what you can do is either go with voice enable zero but you will have this symbol on the bottom left corner which says voice, voice disabled or if you go with voice enable one will actually see the icon of the players that are speaking either counter or terrorist so you can mute them with voice player voice player volume you will see that right here there's a list of players with ids 
and if you want to mute someone in particular you just type voice player volume take the ID of the player let's say 8 and after that space and 0 and this will set the volume for a player to 0 the way I do it when filming something like this is I go right here like before the action happens and first I film it in slow motion just like this I let it play and pretty much after the action happens I'm gonna have to film it again at normal speed just for the sound because if I keep the sound like this I'm, I'm not gonna be able to restore it normal speed it's just gonna sound uh, pretty funky so yeah another cool thing about this command itself is that you can actually change the sky to make it have like a, even a higher impact so it's gonna be tricky because wait you're playing a normal match you just filmed yourself playing and you have the sky changed and <laughs> actually I did uh, upload a similar clip film with Mirfpov and some guy on my Instagram said I was cheating because I had the sky changed so let me show you how you can change the sky right now first if you have the movie making config you already have server cheat set to 1 and after that you have to type SV sky name and let me see if it works Currently it's sky dust, but let me try something different. CS Tibet right here, and now it works. And as you can see, the sky is pretty much changed. And it looks way better. I'm listing right now on the screen a list with multiple sky boxes, and you guys can use anything that you guys prefer. Okay, let me try something else. Is this sky name Italy? Okay, now we're in Italy. Or I think this one was cool as well. Yeah, just a clean HDR sky, blue sky from Vertigo. Or is the sky name Jungle? You guys get the idea. Alright, uh, that's pretty much it guys for this video, I hope you find this helpful, if you have any questions please uh, leave a comment down below, also don't forget to leave me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already, it's gonna help me lots and it will show this video to multiple people. Thanks very much for watching, if you haven't watched my previous movie making tutorials I highly encourage you to do so, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for them as well for the entire playlist. And if you guys have any other ideas for, uh, I don't know, things you want to learn, movie making, editing and uh, something similar, just leave a comment below and maybe I'll include it in my future videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all a great day.